What is going on everyone? How are y'all doing? Hope you're well. And they think I'm back at you with our monotype video. I was counting all the votes and I was kind of close to deciding what would win. Fire didn't quite win out, but I feel like I had to redeem myself from the last live and prove that maybe that physical Blacephalon wasn't a mistake. Maybe it's secretly amazing. I wasn't sure what set to do, but I think when I think about mono fire in a nutshell, it really boils down to like, there's so much different offense in monotype. You know, there's all this crazy speed of mono electric. There's all the uh, balanced offense of ghost uh, or actually even dragon is even more balanced offense. There is the uh, weather control of water and stuff like that. Fire is unlike all that. Yes, there's weather, but it's not as dependent because it's all about, forgive the pun, firepower. It's just hitting harder than any other monotype can, essentially. You get, you know, we won't be using it, of course, but a choice specs Bislephalon in the sun can two it KO a Blissey. You have, you know, the Victini nukes in the sun. You have Darmanitan if you want to use it. You have Volcarona, which doesn't even need to set up. It's just a strong wall breaker on its own. You have uh, uh, Cinderace, which can break any wall due to its different uh, forms of stab. So that's just what I, it boils down to it. It's just like so powerful that you can't possibly resist it. I didn't check the calc, but I'm pretty sure Victini can even two it KO a Tox specs in the sun with the create. Like it's just, I'm clicking my move. You don't have any immunity except for Heatran. Do with it what you will. Now, before we get building in earnest, though, I think I'm going to reuse the bit last time I played Mono Fire and get into a little bit more of a summer gear here. It's going to be one second. Now we're ready. A little bit better. So let's get into building here. Uh, and I was trying to think of ways to make this physical Blacephalon work. And it's really, there's less variety than you would think, shockingly. <laughs> Who would have thought this mod wouldn't work? But... You know, the, the really, there's not nearly the same move pool as there is on the special side. You don't have awesome utility attacks like Psychic and Psy Shock. Uh, you don't have a great selection of moves like Shadow Ball and, you know, any bevy of uh, fire moves like Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Overheat, Mind Blown, stuff like that. You know, any of that. Really, it just boils down to you have Shadow Claw for that stab. You have Fire Punch for that stab. Pretty freaking weak. And that's really it. Like you can get into flame charge for sure. I think that's probably what most people would lean towards when thinking about a physical Blacephalon. I don't like that because again, as I just said, when I when I think of fire, it just it's immediate, extremely potent uh hitting power. And if I'm doing flame charge, I'm kind of tipping my hand. Yes, lots of uh Blacephalons use flame charge just for the speed boost on a special set. It's not necessarily tipping my hand, but I just want, you know. They switch to a Blissey on my Blacephalon, and then they get nuked by a Fire Punch, and they're staring at the screen like, you're joking me, right? That's that's the dream I want right now. And you might be thinking, like, well, that's just stupid. You won't be hitting hard enough. I, I wouldn't be so sure about that. 127 attack is really substantial. Obviously, its speed stat is very great, too. It'd be awesome if you could outspeed, like, Gengars. If you had, like, 111, that'd be perfect. But we'll take what we can get here. Uh, I'll do this. I'll give myself some Spadef. Definitely want to go plus speed nature because even still, um, that won't give me uh, speed beast boost. I'd have to do something like this in order to get speed beast boost. But I don't want that. I want this thing getting stronger and stronger as it goes on. Um, you can make an argument for getting faster and faster. So at a certain point, it's just untouchable. It's already going to be strong enough as is. But I don't know. I just want this thing as a crazy wall breaker, if I'm being honest. I think it's funnier. Uh, there's so little other moves. I'll use trick so we can cripple those talk specs coming in on us with a choice band. That would be fantastic. And I guess you just gotta go knockoff. There's not a lot of the knockoffs hitting that Shadow Claw isn't, but it's got you good utility. So again, if you know your wall, you don't want to trick for whatever reason, you can knock off and get rid of whatever they've got. Uh, in terms of building the rest of the team, we obviously, we have to have Torkoal. I don't think that's up for debate. Um, you know, even if you forget, even if you remove the amazing uh, drought ability, which again, I, if, if not for Torkoal, I would use Ninetales on the spot because boosting all of our fire moves by 50% and weakening all water moves, our biggest problem 50%, I'm already on board. I would take a Ninetales if I had to. When you get Torkoal, or Heat Rock on, of course, for the same reason, and you get a Stealth Rocker. Oh my God, that's amazing. We need one. That's a hard one. Now it frees up a Heat Ran or whatever slot. Amazing. And it's Hazard Removal. Jesus, that's really important on a Fire Team too. Now we don't have to worry about Stealth Rocks. That's really nice. And then you have a really good status move like Lava Bloom, which is pretty much a Fire Type Scald, crippling other Fire Type attackers with base 80 power in the sun. Shit, okay, that's really... That's really good too. And then for our final move, he's got a lot of good moves you can use. You can use Earth Power uh, or uh, Earthquake on certain mons. You can use Protect. You can use Rest. This thing keeps healthy for longer. I actually love Rest and I would be very tempted to do it or Toxic. But Lewis, very good too, but it's a little bit redundant with Lava Plume. I once did do Yawn so Pokemon can't set up on us. 
and also just forces some good switches. Like so an example that I'm trying to think of with this is just, you know, you're up against a Pokemon, let's say it's doing about 40% damage to Torkoal, which is pretty bad, but you yawn them once and then this terrible position of, I can do more damage and cripple this Torkoal, or I can swap out. And normally what you can do then is you can, do a, you can set a very nasty double switches when you know that. Even if they stay in, that means that they're set to sleep and that can mean a couple free setup turns on a Volcarona, what have you. Speaking of which, uh, most of what we're gonna be using with Mono Fire is gonna be again that immediate wall breaking strong hitting power. I do wanna get a Volcarona on because it's probably the only setup super I will use. And I do think setup supers are very important on offense just because it gives you a bit of a trump card. Um, in this case, we're gonna be using a substitute psychic set so that we can really beat the tox specs that are gonna give us a ton of trouble. I can't have enough uh, tox specs insurance really. You gotta have heavy duty boots on, of course. Did I say that? I meant Houndoomite. <laughs> Uh, fire move is a really tricky one. Fire move is a very tricky one. You know, fire blast just hits so hard. And again, what I love about that is it helps Volcarona act as, you know, you swap in a Volcarona and people go, oh shit, here comes Quiver Dance. I gotta get in, you know, a pivot mon immediately that can help deal with that, that Volcarona setup. But that's not necessarily what's happening. Like oftentimes Volcarona just comes in, it's got, you know, this ridiculous 369 special attack stat. And you just drop a fire blast immediately under the sun and you're doing more than enough as is. It could never have quiver dance. It's Pokemon would still be very good. But fire blast do be missing. And I hate that. And I like that flamethrower hits, but it's a lot weaker. Or even you get into fiery dance, we add in some RNG. It's only a little bit weaker than flamethrower, but it's got a ridiculous side effect. Or you could do, no, I don't want to even talk about anything else. They're, they're not relevant. Like heat wave, no, I'm sorry, but that's a, that's a no for me. I think I will do Fire Blast just because I kind of talked myself into it just now about using it as a wall breaker and not Quiver Dancing, but it's like Quiver Dancing as a threat. So I'll do that. Uh, I'll get boring with my stats, 252, 252, and I will make you Speed Nature. I messed with, I think last time I played Fire, I messed with a a Pivot Volcarona, which is kind of the similar concept where you use U-Turn on it. Um, you take advantage of its decent defensive stats. Obviously, it's specially defensively great. Um, and heavy duty boots is a pivot. You can roost. You can try to get some flame body proc, similar to how uh, defensive Moltres does on opponent physical attackers. You can you threaten a quiver dance. People go, oh shit, he's quiver dancing. Then you you turn out and you go to a better Pokemon there. Um, but still, I think that Toxpex is too big of a threat for this wall breaking team. I definitely need it. So far, we have two really good answers though. I love that. Um, next, I think. Probably the second most essential Pokemon on a Mono Fire team is going to be Cinderace. This Pokemon was banned for good reason from OU. <laughs> Heavy Duty Boots makes it a great pivot. Um, you need that, of course. Libero, one of the best moves in Pokemon. Powerball, disgusting stab. Like, disgusting. Uh, we're going to throw in High Jump Kick, which is also just a ridiculous nuke to drop everyone. Also extremely important because I would say one of the biggest problems you can come up against against Mono Steel, which is so... Kind of jumping ahead a little bit. A great thing about Mono Fire is, of course, you're going to nuke really uh, strong Mono Steel teams. But even then, it's not a total cakewalk matchup because if they play their Heat Run correctly, you can be in definite trouble. Um, so Cinderace is a huge part of that. Where oh, you're going to switch to your you know Heat Run and get the Flash Fire up. Great, here's a High Jump Kick waiting for you. So that's you know if they have an Aegis Slash, you get a really nasty 50/50s though because they can wait for the Power Ball and go to Heat Run, and then the High Jump Kick they go to Aegis Slash. Or even worse, sometimes they have protect heat rands, which will wall these high jump kicks, obviously. So it actually creates some some nasty 50-50s. And if that heat rand's played correctly, it can definitely give you some trouble. However, we still need the Cinderace, don't get me wrong. Uh I will go for bulk up at Sucker Punch, kind of a boring set, but bulk up just lets uh people not defensively set up on you. Sucker Punch is amazing, it's mono ghost, and just this team doesn't have much priority actually. It's not as fast as we'd like it to be. We'll throw in a Scarfer. I think Lacephalon would often be a Scarfer as a special uh, uh, attacker, but we'll have someone else fill that role. But back to my original point, there's not a lot of speed on here, so Sucker Punch is really going to be appreciated for us here. Uh, boring stats again. What can I say? I just want my 252s. Now we're getting to tricky range where there's a lot of Pokemon I'll fit on my team. If we need a Scarfer, our Mana is certainly interesting. A Chandelure is certainly interesting. Probably won't do Entei, probably won't do Salazzle or Talonflame, although that would certainly help our speed situation. I think let's go base and go for Victini. V Create is just, you know, what can I say? We'll make you this Garfield, like I said. V Create just is, is just a problem solver. Like, that's what I, what can I say? It's just a wall breaking problem solver, but it also lets Victini act as a decent Scarfer. Because, you know, if I'm up against, 
a decently slow team. I can still get off two V creates until my speed is in an unmitigatable state. Uh, we gotta have Bolt Strike. Helps a ton versus water teams. We gotta have U-Turn. This is where you would normally put Trick. We already got that under Blacephal on it. It seems a bit redundant. So maybe we can throw something on like... Oh, I don't know. What's Bolt Strike's base attack again? 130. Damn. And yeah, it's got that... It's got a great base accuracy too thanks to Victory Star. That's hilarious. I don't know is that strong. Uh, but, 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 but... What do I want? What do I want? Quick Attack's funny. Hmm... Brick, no. Thunder Wave's interesting. Taunt's really interesting. Scarf Taunters are really useful for sure. Uh, but then you're kind of just sitting there like a sitting duck. So I'm not sure. On a similar note, there's Encore. Then you're not sitting there like a sitting duck because they could be behind a substitute. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that because if someone's behind a substitute, I hate the idea of like, you know, Blizzathlon's trick no longer works if, let's say, Garchomp's Dragon, or not Dragon Dancing, Swords Dancing behind a substitute. But Victini can come in an Encore with its awesome speed stat. Let's do that. I'll go max speed still. And the last, last slot's really tricky here. We're getting absolutely murked by ground type attacks right now. So Moltres and Rotom Heat look really interesting. Volcorners are only, like, it's neutral to it, but we're still getting easily to it KO'd by uh, Garchomp's and well, Lander Starians. Mono ground's tricky to begin with, but I'm more so thinking about mono dragon and mono flying. They're tough matchups, but definitely doable. In mono ground, you do what you can, but if you can't do it, you can't do it, right? Um, I think I'll go off of the norm here and give us a tiny bit more tox specs resistance. Uh, so we totally nuke mono poison. Mono water, again, might be a wash to begin with. And go with heat ran here, because also steel type's just such a good defensive type to have. Go for the air balloon. I was messing with this before on a different team and it's just it puts in a surprising amount of work like if you know that somebody's choice locked into ground and oftentimes people don't even think about it when it comes to heat ran you can just come in and get a free air balloon off and if you're up against an opposing heat ran this swap is just completely free we'll go earth power i want to make this thing max speed so i can beat other heat ran speaking of which obviously flash cannon let's go for the basic set from there uh we'll do that i'll go max speed although if i'm going off this sample I want 32 HP EVs. Oops. No, no, no. I want max speed. That's right. That's right. That's right. 32, please. Okay. Let's give that a shot. Might not work, but I'm confident in the Blacephalon here. Let's see if it can put in a little bit of work. Uh, what's my rank right now? So we are 13 and 3 from last time. Oh, I didn't set Torkoal EVs. <gasps> Did I forget anything else? Just Torkoal. I love that showdown reminds me of that. That's so handy and convenient. Uh, yeah, 248. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. They did that for us. Okay. I'm 13 and 3. Not bad, actually, for Monotype. We'll take it. A bit of a rocky start, uh, if I remember right. But that's, that's fine. That's fine. We'll bring it back with Mono Fire here. We're already decently high elo, so we'll come against some opponents that know what they're doing. Mono poisons up. Glad we add the heat rare if that's the case. We're gonna have a great poison resist. We have some sort of answer for Needle King. We have a good shot to trap and kill that tox specs. That's what the taunt is for. Is you hit them with a the magma storm, they're trapped. They're like, okay, no big deal. Just recover and scald until this heat rent's dead. You taunt, there goes your recover, and now Earth per hour is a two at KO. So I realize it's kind of like a lot for tox specs, but keep in mind that Trick on Blacephalon cripples itself and is kind of speculative. You're kind of going for a read at that point. Um, Volcarona Psychic is also kind of speculative and they can probably just go to a different Pokemon. Whereas Heatran is just a very safe way to kill it. So I'm pretty okay with this. In terms of lead matchups, Victini's fun off the rip. I could go Torkoal because we've got okay matchups across the board. And if we see that Nido King, then I just swap to the Heatran, knowing I'm fine. But there's a, well, they could Sludge Wave, which Heatran's also fine with. That's kind of fun. Or I could lead Heatran and threaten an Oko on the Slazzle with my Earth Power. That's really good. Excuse me. Um, Volcarona has obviously an amazing matchup with a Psychic. It's going to be going to town. They don't have a mono Dark Mon. I think you really need a Drapion on these teams because you're so victimized otherwise. But um, I don't want to get the Poison is the reason why it's so important. So I think I'll go Heat Rain. Look at that to Lazzle off the rip. We get Weezing Galar. I think Flash Cannon kills. That could be crazy. Magma Storm's good too. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we get the Oko there. That's awesome. Uh, 
Magma Storm is great too, because it would have gotten the kill on almost anybody that swapped in. And you know, if Toxpex had come in beautifully, that would have been awesome. Okay, here's the Salazzle, and it's actually Balloon itself. So we're gonna let our guy get uh, our Balloon broken here. That's fine. I'll go for the Earth Power now. There's argument for Magma Storm before, like I said, but I just want that easy, accurate move. Easy, breezy, beautiful, heat ran. That was a bit of a predictable move for us, but we keep Balloon up. That's all I ultimately care about. I think we're about to get U-turned on, so let's just go for Torkoal. If they go to their Nido King, then I've got a really safe swap to my heat ran. They Tailwind, that's pretty fun. I think I'll yawn, because who do they go to here? It's weird, they're Tailwind, but they've got such a defensive team. Like, Salazzle's very defensive in nature as a Toxic user, Toxapex. His Golbat is certainly Eviolite. Slow King Galar. I guess it's just so their Nido King can pop off. So I'm gonna yawn looking for that Nido King. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I'll Stealth Rock here. I could yawn again on the Nido King that's coming in. Like I, it's just the same situation, just reverse now. I'll get a Brox though. Help with that Tox Specs and Sloking Galar a little bit. Here comes Sloking Galar. Okay, I'm glad I didn't yawn because that wouldn't have really been much of a benefit. Let's go to Cinderace right now. With Scald Up, we're fine. Yeah, Tailwind's an interesting choice from them. I, I would use it for a more offensive team, certainly. They do Scald. We won't get burnt. That's fine by me. This Power Ball will kill. Uh, I think we might see Tox Specs if we... I should have gone to Splicephalon, honestly, because I could bait in the Tox Specs. Where Cinderace is really boost versus it. Gonna sack Golbat, confirmed to be Eviolite by that. Doesn't die, that is stunning. Uh, we are much faster, so I'll double up here. I don't want them to Tailwind, so I won't be brisk a Sucker Punch. That's the thing about Sucker Punch is I often want to use it on the Cinderace because of this, because it's not 100% accurate. Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> but you don't want to use it because you're bending on them attacking if that's the case. Like it would have failed in that situation. That's hilarious. I was talking about why I don't like Powerball and it demonstrates it for me beautifully. <laughs> I'm thankful of this. Thank you, Powerball. Uh, that's gotta be talk specs, right? Okay, there he is. Let's go for... I think you scald here if I'm talk specs, in which case... I love... Scopal Cephalon, why not? Get it out. Use that trick. They knock off. We hate it. Oh my god, that's the worst situation. Uh, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Let's go to... Volcoron. I'm looking for a scald then. I think it'll toxic of someone there the painful bunker it's great for me this thing just wins now i, I saved the blacephalon like maybe kill with it down the road but volcarona just straight up wins now it just wins they probably do have haze still with the painful bunker probably scald no it's scald recovery wow that's uh so we super win then well always uh love to 60 a fan <laughs> That's the mark of a true content creator right there. You hate to see it, but uh, that's, how, that's how you know you're a real fan. If you're still a fan after this happens, then you have the bird up blessing. Bird up. Oh, it's a laggy bird up. Nothing like a laggy bird up with overloaded encoding. You love to see it. They do have pays, so they don't have... What do they have then? It's gotta be recovered. That means they don't have scald. Old choice. I guess already spreading status with Baneful Bunker, but man. Honestly, didn't realize Haze went through sub. Yeah, it's a really good move. I uh, always say, imagine if Toxpax got Whirlwind. That would be super fun. Be very fun. Glad I got this on, though. You know, I, I felt kind of goofy putting it on, but honestly, I'd probably be wearing it such amazing weather I'm at right now that I'd probably be wearing it over the day anyways. So that's fine. I've just decided my summer aesthetic. That's a that's a joke of me and my friends is every summer, we should decide our summer aesthetic. Uh, one year, my summer aesthetic was, uh, one year my summer aesthetic was just all pineapple shirts, which is where you can see this is from. Uh, then another year was all Hawaiian shirts. I had a summer aesthetic, which was just basically Chris Hemsworth in the movie, The El Royale. I thought that was a sick look. I didn't, I wasn't able to do the mustache though. Every year you gotta have a summer aesthetic. It's it's essential. Sloking Galar is gonna get two at KO'd. Ooh, with that crit he might. Uh, I'll risk staying in. I don't think they can do anything besides potentially an attack EV uh, invested earthquake. So I think we're good here. Anybody else got a summer aesthetic in the comments though? Let me know. Always essential to enjoying the summer. Fire Blast gonna do it. That's why we go for that over Flamethrower right there. Toxpex comes in. I think this is gonna kill, honestly. They might go for Baneful Bunker for more recovery. They don't. They get the haze off. 
fine by me. Uh, all that means that their Salazzle's faster when it comes in, but that's that's fine, honestly. Uh, go for the Toxic, I don't care. Flamethrower might even kill. Maybe I should have gone for another uh, setup right there. I don't think you're Scarf because why would you have Tailwind on your team otherwise? This Needle King is the only possible reason you would have Scarf, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sure enough. Toxic is gonna come back in at 30, 51%, that's it. Look for another Quiver Dance. You can't kill me. Scald will do nothing. You don't even have Scald, actually. We know that now. Oh, we get that. Adding insult to injury here. That's a GG. GG to Gunganeer. Gun 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 Gang in here. Is it Gun Gun like a thing from uh, Star Wars? Or is it like a Gun Gang in here? Tough call. But uh, GG to them. Starting off on a good note here, but we need we need more purple cephalon. We need way, way more purple cephalon. Let's go. Oh, mono fighting is interesting. I don't hate the matchup at all. I think mono fighting just doesn't have enough an identity. I I remember the last time I played it, but it's just it's the one type that I just I don't get it. It's kind of like every every sort of offensive based attack has got something going for it. Uh, our offensive based monotype story has got something going for it. Whether it's sun in this case or electric terrain and speed or whatever. These are just have just strong, good attackers, which is fine. But if that's the case, I'd probably prefer dragons, which have better overall defensive utility. These guys are better, like, mixed stab attackers. Like, you get rock and fight, water and fight, which dragon's not as good at. But I'll take the defensive utility of dragon any day. Sure, you lose to ice and fairy, but, like, so does fighting. And ice can still beat fighting if they, you know, get the good slush rushers going. Uh, regardless, I think we're probably going to see Cobalion first. This is a pure, like, soul read, so I'll go Victini here. And we get Toxic Croak, which should have dry skin, which should die to this V create anyways. The Sucker Punch, which sucks, but I'll take the trade any day. Keldeo and Terrakion, obviously the big threats here. Um, I think we can handle Keldeo okay as long as it's not Specs. Specs would really be a disaster for us. Then it comes, I'm gonna go to Torkoal. Uh, it might get two KO'd here, honestly, but this is gonna be a very short game. So even if we only get eight turns total, I think we can do our damage that time. That's definitely Specs, that's rough. Okay, so this is going to be our biggest threat for sure. Not a big deal to get Torkoal out, like I just said. Uh, it would be nice to keep it as a defensive swap into these bottom row Pokemon, but it was getting smoked by the big threats anyway, so we just get our, our sun up and we'll be able to break very well from this point forward. I'll yawn in case you stay in, or in case you let me get something off here. So just fashionable Cephalon, damn. Uh, da, 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 da. I think Volcarona might be the play. Victini could, of course, Bolt Strike, but I don't think there's any world they stay in. I go to Victini and you turn, but then I'm just sacking a Pokemon. Whereas if I go to Volcarona right now, I'm worried they go to Terrakion if I go to Volcarona. And then I am, they could be Scarfed. I think the Terrakion is probably the Scarfer, but it might be on this bottom row too. No, Terrakion's probably not Scarfed. So I think in the, if that's the case, oh, but what if they go to a Zapdos? They won't go to Zapdos, they won't go to Zapdos. I'll go to you, and I'll Quiver Dance. I think with Sun's up, I'm fine. Yes, 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 nice. That definitely does not look like Scarf to me, too. So Psychic's a nuke to anything that comes in right now. I could Fire Blast as well, but I don't want to risk one of these two resists coming in. In comes you. I will Fire Blast this time. It does hit, thank God. We'll see the Scarfer right now for sure. Could be one of these two. Could be Buzzwell. If it's Buzzwell, I'm popping off. In comes Terrakion. I think I determined once and for all what its stat is. Oh. Dude, sorry. Dude, auto, that sucks. I don't think we lost if that hit. I think that was just a close game regardless, but that is, that's absolutely gutting. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's get a bird up for that win. Bird up. Go Nathan, roll to your heart's content. Mono electric. This could be a hot take. I think we lose this one. Uh, I, I always joke that mono electric, it, it's almost like an arms race in between offensive monotypes where it's like, I'm even stronger and faster. No, I'm stronger and faster. No, I'm stronger. And it's like an arms race. And like the ultimate pinnacle of that is mono electric where you're never going to be faster than, they actually don't have Raichu Alola. The point is you're never going to be faster than it's right Ra 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 and it's Raichu Alola. You're never going to outpower a specs rising voltage. You're never going to do it. Um, but it's also never going to be shut down harder by counters to it. So point being is we don't have a ground type, which 
pretty much means we lose if I'm being a little bit defeatist, forgive me. Uh, I think we'll probably see you off the rip, but I'm worried about seeing Galvantula. Uh, I'll go Heatran regardless. I think that's fine because what I like about Heatran is, is it's risky going for Magma Storm off the rip. But I like is that it's a chance to Oko it so we can only get up webs and leave it from there. I guess the webs are just to set up the Draco's ult. Not a fan personally. Um, and they got a Rotom too. That's the other thing is Rotom is actually a really good counter. It, only can swap it about two or three times against our team, but that's enough. Again, this is just gonna be such a, it's gonna be like a 10 turn game. So being able to waste three of our turns and you know, that's where our Cinderace is gonna be good is if we can actually two it KO with the high jump kick, being able to waste those turns from us is really not ideal. Um, but you know, I don't wanna be too defeatist. We're gonna try to find a win here regardless. I think if there is a path to victory, it's gonna be getting up a bulk up on Cinderace. Because then we can go for Sucker Punch on you. We can go for High Jump Kick on you. Sucker Punch destroys Draco's ult because it makes Bolt Beak much weaker. Uh, okay, they're not going to go for webs, but we get the Oko when we hit that, luckily. That's amazing. Uh, I think we'll see Zero Aura now. Uh, Zero Aura is going to be tough for Cinderace. And I didn't mention it, but the number one problem for Cinderace is going to be Tapu Koko. If it's some sort of like band or spec set, specs more likely, obviously, they're just going to completely destroy us. So that's our main goal is to get this one dead and to get Cinderace safely set up. But I don't know where we're gonna find a chance to set up a bulk up on it. Honestly, this is a terrifying squad here. Uh, and we don't have a lot of priority. So what about Ghost? Is Ghost, I'm not gonna say it wins Mono Electric, but it's got a, it might, honestly, it might. It's, it's got a really good matchup. And you, all that priority you have with the two Shadow Sneak users and the sort of buffer that Disguise gives you on uh, uh, Mimikyu, so unbelievably useful. That's the funny thing is that Mimikyu and Aegislash Slash are kind of similar. Aegislash Slash is defensively strong in shields form, then switches to attack form. It's kind of similar where it gives you a buffer turn to set up if you need to. So I think it handles electric really well. Whereas this one, we got no resist. <laughs> Our best resist is Heat Ran, I guess, as a Spadefmon. And it's already really weak. And uh, our opponent's really, really thinking about it here. I, honestly, if I had a Scarf Shadow Ball uh, Blacephalon, that would be really threatening right now. That's kind of the thing, it's an opposite philosophy. I chose to go for a Scar uh, Victini over Blacephalon. It's kind of opposite. One, with the Scar Blacephalon, it gets stronger as it goes. It's kind of a snowball effect. Whereas obviously the Victini gets weaker because it's uh, main stab V create gets weaker. But I just prefer again, that immediate hitting power. There's less times where I want to snowball opponent than there are times where I want to just take advantage of a quick immediate V create. And the thing is, is like, I don't need to snowball with a Blacephalon. The fact is like, it's already as strong as I need from it using a fire punch in the sun with a band. It's already, I, I've already as strong as I could possibly want it to be. It's more so just getting more rolls of the dice. And they literally run out of time there, not ideal. I'm not sure what my timer is because I had to stop a couple times in this video. I'm gonna go for one more. This could be a short video, this could be a really long video. Who knows? <laughs> it's rolling the dice on that too. Going well so far though, I think I'm gonna record a video right after this to be honest, it's got a bit of time. And uh, I love Mono Fire. Let's just get it all the way. I might even record three with this to be honest, because I wanna play some high ladder people and I'm trying to ladder a bit quickly here. It's always a little bit more intense when you're against the top of the ladder. Okay, so we dodge one bullet and we're just pumped with another right away. <laughs> Luckily it's got a Magnazone instead of a uh, Raichu Alola, which we're totally fine with. In terms of leads, I think I'm gonna go Victini. If we see you, this is a disaster because I can't. If, if we see Rotom Wash, I'll U turn into Torkoal. It's not great, but whatever. We get some chip on an important Pokemon. But if it's you, I can't even U turn without risking a static. So, yeah, we do see you. That sucks. And the thing is also, they could predict this U turn and switch to Zapdos, but I'll get out of here. This thing could even be a Scarfer, frankly. This team does not have as much firepower as you'd expect. I'm guessing it's a Specs Regieleki. Anyways, with the Torkoal. I'm hoping they go for Hydro Pump, honestly. Oh wait, this the camera's closed. Let's, try, let's do that again, let's do that again. <laughs> Sir, excuse me? Okay, I ruined the take, but it's fine. Let's get the Stealth Rocks up. We wanna get as much chip as possible. There's 51%, that's stunning. Uh, will they hit it? Who knows? I think this Yawn Off, that's fantastic. That means they can set up with the Volcarona. It might, it might be a roll, we'll see. There it goes. Again, arguable, maybe I should have saved it and sacked something else instead. Like Bulk Runa or Heat Ramp probably would have taken one. But I'd rather keep these bulky Pokemon I have healthy. And I don't think this game's gonna last much longer than five turns. They can do the majority of the damage I need to right now, honestly. High Jump Kick won't do it yet. 
So I gotta go to you, and I gotta Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance plus Sun Up. We won't be taking too much of this Hydro Pump. I'm guessing 40%. Pretty. Shut up. That's crazy. Um, I can go for the win right now, honestly. This guy's gonna just gonna stay in on me. Damn. Oh, I could have subsued right there. I, I wanted to get another Quiver Dance up so I could substitute on them. Damn. Um, I'm gonna calc really quick if I can kill the Psychic. I don't want to risk the Fire Blast miss at all. But one sec, I'll edit around this. I mean, as long as they're not HP invested, we get the kill. I'll take it. Nice. That is pretty huge. So they lose their electric brain soon too. Assuming they're not, uh, I forget what it's called, the terrain extender. As long as they're not that, we should be fine. And yeah, I don't know. 500 special defense. I think I can win this. Let's give it a shot. Please. Oh, we're faster. Yeah, of course we're faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I saying? That's a win on a matchup I said was very tough earlier. Again, I don't love their team build, frankly, and I don't love the way they played their Rotom Wash and stayed in against us. If they just swapped their Zero Aura immediately or went to Zapdos even, it could have been a very different game, but oh well, honestly, we'll take it to the bank. Huge win. Literal 6-0 by the guy. But I literally didn't use Blacephalon once. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll have to, again, I know I have to record another video just so I can use them, them my man. There's way more damage outside of the sun. Not surprising, but it's too little too late, my dude. GG to them. It's like a such good secondary stab. But anyways, that's also the end of the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Like I said, I'm gonna reward, record a new video right now uh, on the new thing here. Not a 6-0, it's actually a 5-0, but at least Volcrona does it all himself. That's why you gotta have Volcrona on the team. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see after fire. I got a lot of votes for Mono Bug, got a lot of votes for Mono Ice. Even got a vote for Mono Rock, which is a fun one for sure. Tough one to pull off, but I love it. Uh, anyways, regardless, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.